Hello friends, hope you all are doing well and staying safe. Welcome back to yet another video of the Football Mania to bring you all the latest news and insights from the world of football. On one side, Indian football is in a very big predicament with a likelihood of a FIFA ban and on the other side, we are seeing something good happening for the development of referees in the country. Yes, my friends, AIFF has jointly organized the FIFA MA course in association with FIFA, wherein it will be divided between two parts. The first part is a course for the referee assessors, wherein 35 referee assessors and 33 women referees will be taking part in the course. This will culminate on 24th of July and they will be instructed by three FIFA instructors who have a plethora of experience in the field of refereeing. Refereeing education is one of the most crucial aspects for any ecosystem to develop. Not only the coaches but also the referees play a key part in ensuring that you know the rules of the game are followed and they also need to be up to date with the latest information and the latest regulations which everyone needs to follow at any level of the football pyramid. And considering that this is happening in Kochi, one of the meccas of Indian football, we have to be optimistic about the future of referees in India and it is very heartening to see such a big participation in terms of numbers. And not only this, the second part of the course will be for 32 men referees and there will be almost 36 assistant referees. This has never happened before. We always you know, think about refereeing as an area in football where a lot of work needs to be done. But AIFF has taken this initiative in ensuring that referees are up to the mark. They are following certain standards and we never you know raise a debate on the quality of refereeing in this country yes it might have been poor in the recent isl seasons or even the hero i league but in the coming years what we need to see is quality refereeing referees you know they should be fearless in making decisions they should not succumb under the pressure of the players and especially when fans are in the stadium i have a feeling that referees become quite nervous and anxious while making decisions. We have seen this happening in the past wherein if you go to a place like Kerala and play in the Jawaharlal Nehru Stadium, if for example Kerala is playing in the Santosh Trophy, you would expect the referee to make some mistakes because he succumbs under the pressure and every time he makes a decision against the team Kerala, you would expect him to, you know, be charged with the players and there will be a kind of you know friction between the players and the referee and such scenarios should always be avoided and not only this nowadays we see a lot of problems with you know abuse taking place the kind of you know things which the referees need to deal with in terms of player abuse in terms of you know the crowd going behind the referee it is quite difficult for them to manage their professional and personal life so as part of this FIFA MA course, I am expecting that there will be a lot of knowledge which will be gained by these participants and this will ensure that it gives rise to a positive future for referees and I feel that in the long run, referees will no longer be a debatable area in Indian football because we are seeing that a lot of women referees are also getting the opportunity to you know officiate the state league matches and that is a good sign and FIFA MA course is a course which is done in association with the National Federation and in this course we also saw the director of the referees for AIFF Mr. Jai Shankar and we also saw the likes of the acting general secretary Sunando Thar along with the general secretary of Karnataka State Association. This is something where we need to see a lot of executive as executive committee members coming into such forums and you know addressing the participants in terms of what is the objective of such courses and this needs to happen periodically because if we look at this course this might happen once in two or three years but whenever it happens it has to have that impact because each and every year we are seeing that the number of referees in India is certainly increasing and if it has to increase in the long run, 
AIFF needs to keep on conducting these courses. It needs to ensure that the same kind of trend is followed even for coaches because we look at the quality of Indian football. There is still a long way to go in terms of improving the players, the coaches and the referees. So this is a good step for the betterment of Indian football. My only hope is that this continues in the long run and more and more quality referees are produced every single season because that is where we will get confidence as a footballing nation. We'll be able to host big, big tournaments and we might even see in the future Indian referees going and taking part in FIFA World Cup. That is something which we should aspire to be in and that is the kind of benchmark we should keep for the Indian referees because that is when we will see more participation, we'll see more engagement and AIFF will be willing to conduct more of such courses. So all in all, I'm quite thrilled to have this course finally happening in Kochi and long may it continue for many more years. So guys, please let me know what are your thoughts about this good initiative which AIFF has taken because credit has to be given where it is due and let me know what more do you know about this FIFA MA course. I would love to know your thoughts and if you have liked this video, please do not forget to hit the like button and share it amongst your network and obviously the football mania will be bringing you much more exciting content leading up to the verdict of the Supreme Court in a week's time. So please stay tuned, stay paid for my channel. If you have not yet subscribed to the channel, please hit the subscribe button and show me your support and until next time, stay safe and take care.